Hello everyone. Today I'd like to go over dolphin texture loading and dumping for Slippy in particular. I'm going to show you how you can basically go from this to this. Much better. So in this particular use case we have HD portraits for most of Mario's costumes including these placeholder silhouettes. However, we have this light blue and this white one that need to be replaced because they are low resolution. So let's do that. Here I have two windows split out. One have contain the HD ones that I want to replace and this is an empty one. I'm going to show you one important directory you need to navigate to and I'm going to show you in the Slippy settings. So open the Slippy desktop application, then click settings. Uh, this will be the initial screen. Switch to Dolphin Settings and click Net Play, and then click Open. First off, open, Configure Dolphin will open the Dolphin build, which will look something like this. And then opening the Settings folder will open a File Explorer window that looks like this. And this is where you're going to find the textures that you need. The ones that matter are User, Dump, Textures, and this folder may or may not exist for you. That doesn't matter. You don't have to worry about that right now. Then the other one that matters is load, textures, and the same folder. If this folder does not exist, I recommend that you make it. It's just a folder called GALE01, all capitals, and you can ignore these textures and anything in there. But those are the folders of note. Uh, for the purposes of making things speedier, I've already created a directory over here, which is the dump folder, and over here, which is the load folder. Uh, and I'm going to show you how loading and dumping works. So as you can see, back to my original example, these are all crisp looking HD textures. Uh, you can see that they are much higher resolution than a GameCube would normally be able to handle. And the way that's accomplished is through something called texture loading, which you can see right here. You may have done this before where you've set something up and you've enabled these uh, load custom textures and prefetch options. If I turn those off, you're going to see the native resolution, which is much lower and fuzzier. Okay. So we're going to show you what dumping is and then loading. So I'm going to go back to turning on load custom textures. Okay. Now I'm going to swap over to the costume just before these low resolution ones. And I'm going to enable dump textures. Let me check this box. Now I'm going to hit X once. You'll see over here a file appeared. Let's change the view so that's more obvious. This little file here. And then I'm going to change the costume again. And the other one popped up. We have essentially the two in-game textures which are low resolution and here are the two high res ones which are large resolution. They're high resolution. So I'm now going to turn off dump textures and close this window. And I'm going to use these names here. And I'm going to copy them over to the HD textures. Okay. So I'm going to click to rename, I'm going to click to rename and actually replace the old name with this name. Obviously you could just right click and hit rename, but I like doing it more quickly. But for purposes of illustration, we can do it this way. Rename, paste. Okay, so these are the new names. Now in order for these to load in game, I simply need to drag these into the Gale 01 folder. We want to be a little bit more organized than that if possible. So as you can see, I already have a bunch of folders in here. I'm just going to make one called custom textures. I'm going to move each of these new ones that we've dropped in into that folder just for organization. And as you can see, it's still not updated yet. That's expected. You need to go back into Dolphin and you need to click graphics and go back to advanced. And when I, as soon as I uncheck load custom textures and enable it again, it's going to refresh. So let's try it. Load, load. And there you have it. The low resolution portrait for the blue and the white costume has updated and now it is super sharp and super nice looking. Back in this dump folder, you can go ahead and delete these textures if you'd like, it doesn't really matter. So that is how you replace textures. Now this does not just work for Slippy, this works for any kind of dolphin you can think of. Uh, one more thing that I'd like to note is, 
this is one kind of dolphin. This is the dolphin build that you're using to play Slippy Online. If you want to modify your replay one, you need to do the same thing but for the replay dolphin. So you'll click Configure Dolphin, and this different version of dolphin will open that it that always pops up when you use your replays you will want to do the same thing where you go in and you enable load custom textures and when you click open settings folder you'll want to go to user load textures this folder and for the purposes of like what we're doing since I made these textures just a bit ago I'm gonna to want to copy them over so now if I have a replay, and this is a bad example because portraits don't appear in replays, but if they did, those would also be HD. So there you have it, a short guide on how to do dump and load textures feature in Dolphin, specifically for Slippy. Hope you enjoyed it.